Hey everybody, it's Sean from Tech Babblers, and today we are taking a look at another Xbox One S. Um, I got this on eBay, and it really didn't state what the issue was, so we're gonna power it on and see. Um, so first things first, it does seem like it's powering on, which is pretty good. Uh, it does sound a tad bit loud, but that's fine. Probably just needs a little cleaning. Um, so it does boot. I'm just gonna zoom in to the screen. So it looks like it's booting, but it looks like there's some choppiness down there. So on the boot a animation, it usually kind of moves. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to do that. From prior experience, um, usually these things are to deal with the hard drive, so um, I guess we're going to try resetting it. Um, so first thing actually that we can do is try a flash drive, which usually works, um, I'm going to power it off. So I actually always have this flash drive paired with the, um, it's OSU 1, so um, I'll leave a link down below to OSU 1 and the tutorial. It's basically how you get offline files and upload the operating system, because sometimes that can be the issue, so I'm just going to power it all the way off. And I think it's the power. For Slims, it's power and eject, I think we hold at the same time. I hope I'm right. Um, I haven't done this. I don't think it's, yeah. Let's see, so something's going on there. Let's see if it's gonna boot up into the, the recovery or not. No, it didn't split up into still that. Um, okay, let me try it again. Let's see if that did anything. So I'm still not gonna get the recovery. Um, that's fine. I'm just gonna, we're gonna take it apart, try swapping the hard drive and seeing if that works. So I'm just gonna power it off and uh, yeah, let's switch angles. All right, so to take apart your Xbox One, I'm gonna flip it to the back, as we see here. Uh, warranty sticker is still intact, so I'm just gonna peel that off because we don't really, we're not gonna be worried about the warranty for now. Um, put that aside. And basically, what you want to do is pry out this. So, I think one of these little pry tools should work perfectly fine. So, maybe not this one because the top is gone, but I have a bunch of them. So, I would just suggest getting one that's.
and bottom comes off like so. So, yeah, not too difficult. Next, um, we just want to take out one, two, three, four, you guys can't see it, five, six. So there are six green screws. There, are, let's see if I can zoom in to show you. They're these. So the green T10 screws. You just want to take those out. And like I said, where are we? Where, where? We're using a come on. There we go. Torx T10. And once we do that, the whole top should essentially, uh, I think it's, it lifts off. I haven't done one of these in a while, so bear with me. Um, yeah, the, let's see. The top should just lift off if I remember correctly. Uh, yep, the top does lift off, so here's our top. And now, oh man, one of the standoffs broke. Price of buying stuff from eBay. It's fine. Um, and now I think this whole, yep, this metal part just slides off. And here we have our dirty console. So the fan's kind of dirty. It's all kind of dirty, I'll give it a once over, so that's the hard drive we need to remove, and to remove that, there are one, two, three screws I think we need to remove. So once again, let me zoom in. Uh, one, two, three. You can also just follow an iFixit guide. And as you see here, the whole hard drive break, break comes up. So now we just need to unplug one and two. So let's see, yep, this one and that one. One and two. Um, put the Xbox to the side. So this is the hard drive, nothing too special about it. There are four, let's see if we can get it, yep, four Torx T8, one, two, uh, three, and four. So we just need to take those out. But as you can see, Toshiba 500 gig. I'm not gonna cover it in this video, but I did buy a replacement, same exact one, I believe, yep, on Amazon for like 20, 25 bucks. Um, I made the replacement hard drive. I'll link that down below also. I'm just gonna take this out, put the new one in, and see if that works. Um, actually, no, they're not T8, they're T10. Mm -hmm. So, old hard drive out. New hard drive in. You just put it in like that. Put it in like that. And line it up. And screw it back in.
And now that we're done, we can just bring the Xbox back and plug the hard drive back in. And uh, well, let's see if it works. So we have everything plugged back in. I'm just gonna test it like this to see if it works. So yeah, I am gonna press the power. It's gonna give an error code on the screen because you're gonna have to reinstall the OS. Yeah, so we're gonna get error 106. So usually for these, you get like 100-ish errors, that's what it is. So let me plug in the flash drive and get that going and let's see. So for this step, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you, but basically, you wanna hit troubleshoot a offline system update and just let it do its thing. It's gonna reboot a bunch of times. So we're just gonna let it go and we'll come back once it's done. Um, so I don't know if the last part came right with the audio, but we got, I got most of the Xbox back together, so I cleaned it up, and I just screwed back on the top case and whatnot, so let's power it on. Just if you didn't know, it works. So if you're having any boot issues or any of that, um, 105, 106, I believe 200s. You can do the same thing, just replace your hard drive, and you should get it to work. Um, this one was working perfectly fine um, in the last clip. Hopefully nothing changed when I screwed stuff in, but it all should be good to go. Um, let's see. As you can see there, it's like fully on. Sometimes it's also the screen, because this isn't, this is not a 1080p display. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, so I booted up to the dash, I set up my account, everything works. Um, I don't know, if you guys think this video was useful, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you didn't think it was useful, let me know down below what I can change. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.